<laughs> it would be terrible. <laughs> oh my god, that all you would, that's all you would see on Elite Smash. Everybody would pick Wraith, go invisible, and then just turn on the microwaves next to their routers so they could just smash attack randomly. <laughs> getting into game number one here, we got Stretch versus PK Chris. I kind of like the idea of Battlefield because it lets him get other like extra landing options. However, right, right. he's got to deal with exactly this. If he makes the wrong short hop early, he's going to take massive damage for that mistake. Yeah, Lucina against Ness is a, is a matchup. I tell people if you play this patiently and strong minded, you'll be able to punish Ness. This is a matchup that Ness can struggle with. But if you're playing too aggressive and then too predictable for Ness to just know what you're going to go for, he will punish you like so. So you have to really be patient and strong with your neutral because Ness can struggle a lot against swords. And you already said, oh, Ooh. that was so close to a PK, <laughs> PK Thunder 2, demolishing Stretch's stock. But one of the things that uh, PK Chris is doing correctly that you have to do in this matchup is not that. N not that. <laughs> so, and so, I want, so anybody watching this, don't take that part. You need to be able to run up shield safely. Yeah. <laughs> so that way you stay grounded because he's done that quite a bit. He walks up and shields oh. before the short hop pressure. But Stretch is just looking clean right now. Yeah, he said that jab reset so well that he was looking to call in the panic uh, roll in uh -oh. and cover that. But unfortunately, just narrowly missed. Of course, PK Chris not going to give him any of those opportunities. There is the back throw. Almost. Oh, no. I was going to say, I think he could have survived. The DI could have been a little bit better, but... You know what, man? I don't have the one holding the controller, and it's stretching. So far, he's got a little bit of a lead still. When in doubt, believe in the yeet. You always got that back door. It's always going to be able to beat that consistent KO option. It's really your best KO option in this matchup, outside of short hop back airs on trades. That yeah. especially at KO percent. So you like you can see right here, PK Chris is trying to find an opening, but I like Stretch's usage of Dolphin Slash at low percent because like, okay, you hit me. The most I take is a little bit of damage. I'm content with using it at least for now well, until it's uh, you know a little bit too out of range to get a massive punish oh what a great way to come back on the you stage are, you are ballsy that was, that was, i was gonna you say online what this man he said you know what i was born on wi-fi some of y'all just came into it <laughs> a small Ow. price to pay for salvation all mess players ever <laughs> right <laughs> oh that dash cancel up don't so good i like the stall with the oh, what dash, but the problem is yeah stretch can just cruise with you as long as you want because eventually you have to commit to that pk thunder too exactly the lower ness goes the better it will be for lucina eventually because yeah the you should just be able to stuff you out or at some cases she'll be able to just get you on the counter like so but you don't want to counter pk thunder yeah, exactly. It's a little bit scary because if they call it out, you'll get caught. That up air is going to be a good option too if Stretch jumps a little bit too much, looking for things like double double jump, uh, like down air baits. So that's, mm -hmm. that was a good call right there. Now PK Chris needs to play safe. He needs to play comfortably because otherwise Stretch is going to be taking advantage of this low percent right now just like that. Okay, Stretch, he's got stage control, 92. That's good from PK Chris. You have to respect that option from every nest at the ledge, man. They're not afraid to use that PK Thunder to buy themselves to get back on the stage. But look at this reversal here. What was Stretch's game to win has slowly become PK Chris's game to take. Yeah, that was massive. Just from the ledge, he was able to go. Oh, God, you're, you're lucky you avoided that. <laughs> that shield is so low. You better jump and jump a lot. Jump around. Get away from that. Now getting him off stage. Stretch is forced to recover high, and he's at grab percent. So he's going to be forced to jump a lot, and that makes those potential back airs or short hop up airs much more live for PK Chris right now. Yeah, Stretch forced to kind of play the footsies game here. It's pretty much at high percent. Oh, no. Okay, he's still, still jump. Yeah. All right, roll, get away from the up smash, dash attack, they might actually do it, because I'm telling you, man, that Ness dash attack cheats. Yeah, it's super strong. Luckily, Battlefield helped at least once. That Nair cross-up's not going to do it yet, but 165, you're straight hit away from almost anything. Mm. Yeah, you just like that, Nair's going to take it. I still liked how Stretch understood that. Like, don't burn my jump, don't burn my up B early. Use every single option that I have aside from a jump to avoid PK Thunder when I'm off the stage. But nonetheless, like you said, a straight hit coming up from PK Chris will take it. And that was a really good option for Nair because that is, oh God, Nair is a, all of Ness's like arrows are just something to deal with. Yeah, I like that right there because it's your fastest option that you have to get the trade. You're at center stage. You're not going to die for that trade most likely unless you happen to get hit by the back air first. So it, it was a good job of just putting it out there and getting in there quickly. Because if it was any lower, he would have been forced to go for something like up air, which has a little bit more startup and would have made it so he would have possibly taken a trade. I'm incredibly impressed though, by the way, he, he brought that back because Stretch, Stretch was looking good. Even, even oh, yeah. with that SD early on, Stretch was controlling the pace of that match really well.
Yeah, well, like I said, what was Stretch's game to win became P PK Chris's game to take. And unfortunately for Stretch, he definitely mm -hmm. took it. But also, like, understanding how Stretch had to recover there, going for a higher recovery to get to the center stage. Sometimes it's better to just aim at the ledge, but you have to give respect to Stretch because if you go towards the ledge, you have to worry about Yo Yo and PK Fire. And those are some things you don't want to get caught at higher percents, especially when you're just a man trying to live. Exactly. Now you see both of them just kind of trying to give each other respect. I like how PK Chris is trying to he's trying to go for some big damage early while he can. That change to that move is, is such a sick. Don't you go anywhere near that. Oh, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> man, you took the words out of my mouth. Combo came increase here, but, oh, you got called so hard on your jump there. <laughs> Every everybody wants a meta view clip tonight, bro. They 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 seen the tournaments, they seen the app, they know what they're looking for, man. I'm like, hold on, man. Men of you posting the clips, I want a pie, a piece of the pie. That was just it was so good. It's like, look, I know you're gonna jump. I know you wanna jump. You wanna swing at me, I'm within range of you. How about I just call it out really hard right now? This is huge for a Ness. Because if they, if they have the ability to hold a stock up like this and trade with you a lot more, it makes it way easier on their life. Yeah, easily. Back air. Okay, stretch watching the recovery here. What a good sliding forward tool trying to easily get in towards center stage, come back in forward there with the call out. That's one thing I'm liking about stretch. He's looking to see how PK Chris is gonna move and then call out that option with one of Lucina's great not you know pretty pretty strong arrows. Obviously, she has all the good knockback within the sword compared to Marth. What a great use of Uppy to stop that recovery and no opportunities for recovery on PK Chris. What a play. Great job. That's one of your main win cons. You need to get out there and snipe that up. Yeah, snipe that nest recovery every time. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see out of Stretch as well is Stretch has already established the, the jump game. He's been making PK Chris jump a lot. I would like yeah. to see him try and find a way to make it so he can make him cheat, like just stay grounded and shield and take advantage of that. Get some more grabs, force him off stage, make him feel uncomfortable. That way you will force him to jump at the position you want. But PK Chris has just been pretty much getting away with shield repeatedly. And I think that's kind of taking away a lot of what Stretch wants because he keeps short hopping in to try and go for some pressure, anticipating a jump and never gets it. Oh, that was good too. <laughs> right after the up B goes for forward air to force that stage tech situation, but also like up B off stage, it's hard to actually react because it's so fast. Yeah, and I like to change up PK Flash too because if you catch him going up a little bit high real quick, he would have thrown him off. That, I am very... I'm always thrown away by when that up smash actually KOs because it's such a weird timing on the animation. He, but it you is. just caught him. It's it's an anti air. It's a call out. It's mm -hmm. it's all things together, man. But yeah, there is the counter stopping the PK Thunder recovery. What a play from Stretch, evening up the Marks here. One one. No, sorry, still one zero here, but one one on stocks. Yeah, now this is huge because now that they're back at even percents, it, it makes PK Chris have to play at least a bit more center stage than trying to deal with him at the ledge because he's gonna get forced off ledge easy. You see, he was trying to go for a reverse dolphin flash. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have a turn up <laughs> yeah, that was insane. This man was making all the oh, plays with Stretch. Oh, he didn't die. Excuse the me. counter? The oh, counter? Oh, oh, no, never mind. Never mind. Go for another one. Let me get the repeat. Another one, please. <laughs> another one. DJ Khaled. That was a great job. Once he caught him with that charge forward smash, it put him into a spot where he couldn't jump early enough to maybe recover low, change up his timing, use the PK flash to stall like he has been. He was forced into that situation where he had to recover high and hopefully drift in and just hope that stretch would drop the forward smash. Yeah, and honestly, there were some times where PK Chris just navigates a lot of like his moves, like PK Thunder, PK Flash, like you said, Ajax. So like, it definitely call out Stretch in the middle of an aerial, and even if it's not gonna kill, it's big damage and so much loss for Stretch that it starts to force him to evaluate things like forward air, especially a lot. Mm -hmm. And I do like that about PK Chris. He's forcing Stretch to really think about going for his aerials in an area where you want to stop Ness for going for aerials himself. The more yep. you keep ground, Lucina grounded, the easier it will be for you. And definitely, PK Chris understands that in the matchup. 100%. You have to force Lucina to stay on the ground. And Stretch also really made it, like, he, he really made it, show, like, showed it well why this matchup is so bad for Ness. Because even though PK Chris established such strong leads in center stage, had percent leads, at the end of the day, every time PK Chris got forced off stage, he was likely to die. 
So yeah. the win condition for Lucina is always there, even if that's if they're at zero, because it's so easy for Lucina to snipe that recovery. Exactly. She's got counter, she's got forward smash, she's got upbeat. She has a plethora of tools to stop characters like Ness to just make a recovery back. So she Stretch knows what he needs to do when it comes to the offstage game. Watch yourself in the PK Thunder. That's a good punish there. You know that he got that bounce back. And the read on that platform, Stretch is making the play to keep this guy off the stage on all costs. That was a really good stall and delay and route change from PK Chris too because last time that he went for the PK flash stall, he went low. That time he decided to full hop high, which changed Stretch's punish route. So now he has it in his head. That's okay. Where's he going to go next time? Right now, the only place <laughs> Stretch is going is to the blast zone. Forward tilt pushing in here, sliding forward tilt, not, not gonna kind of hit its mark at the ledge, but nonetheless, Stretch has the whole stage to play through, and he knows the more I keep Kiki Chris out, the better. Looking to kind of play footsies against those aerials and get a punish, but there is a size stall after an aerial, and this puts PK Chris, I was gonna say, in a scary position because that thunder could have hit at any time, and Stretch gets the down air to the up air. What a way to survive that. Stretch is the bravest person here tonight. The amount of PK Thunder 2s that he's contested is like, nah, I want to get my hit. Like, I, I swear a majority of the reason why so many people don't play Lucina is because she's got no sauce. She's such a simple character. Stretch always looks for the small windows of opportunity, though, to do something that he feels is impressive with the character. And he just continues advantage so well. Like right now, he almost got him on the jump in two, but you saw that he retreated. This has been an entire stretch stock borderline uncontested. I think you might just get him at the ledge. Oh, definitely. And that RB call out too, so fast too. It's, a, it's probably, if you guys know what a DP is, man, it's Lucina's and Mart's best dp out of shield like so man you get the up out of shield and then ness will regret ever being in your range and trying to go for the reverse one new because that hitbox is kind of different up yep, yep. Oh. Oh, got the trade forces mm -hmm. them to go low. also if, for all y'all elite smash players if you don't if you've never dealt with wake up dp just imagine if you were the same way that people constantly jump down from angel platform every time they get up they always get up attack yeah that that's it just smashing <laughs> attack on get up hoping that they get almost definitely <laughs> And we're talking, I mean, East Coast and West Coast can go back and forth about in and out man But when I think about Lucina not having any sauce, it's because she's like the Thousand Island sauce you get in and out Not- See, I have actually never had in and out so I can't- oh, bro, come on. Shake Shack, she's like, she's like the Shake Shack sauce, bro. The common sauce, but you know what, it's still good enough sauce that you put it on everything. That's you know what she is, man. It's much like Shake Shack, if it was just a little bit less expensive or a little bit better, I would buy it more often, but she costs <laughs> too much effort, way less sauce, and not enough cool clips for me to want to play. But Stretch and, makes it work. <laughs> see, th this, this is why we have you here, Ajax. We need that East Coast <laughs> knowledge to carry this one out here. But Stretch looking for the opportunity here, and there one, and the bonus, oh, what a reaction. I like it, I like it, because that wasn't true right there entirely. To go for that good tech, is he gonna make it back again? That near at ledge is so good. Waiting for it? Oh, what a madman. Forward air before the up air. Great play from Stretch. What a call it on the aerial. Jumps for the above the PK cross. That's what I'm liking about Stretch here. You're starting to see him avoid a lot of those specials from Ness. Enough that he can call out PK Chris for going for them afterwards. I'm telling you right now, like, PK Chris activated the power of friendship, the most busted anime power ever, because I don't know how he was able to get that wall bounce beat, uh, beat get under two to avoid actually dying. He's somehow still in this matchup. Granted, he just got down tilted, so he's forced to have to go low, which allows Stretch to go down there and counter and gets right in front of it. Yeah, what a play. And you saw from a mile away, Ajax. The minute that you start setting Ness to go for that low recovery, that's a counter and a GG there. At least it's going to be 2 1 from Stretch. Not a full GG yet, because of course, this is a best of five scenario here. So Stretch has pretty much put himself at set point. It's, uh, it's such. It's a scary thing to go for because if you miss, you could just get. You could end up just getting a non techable wall splat because of how <laughs> strong that move is. But you need to establish that fear in the nest player that they can't recover for free. You force that yeah. down tilt and you don't do anything about it. Now they're at ledge. If you miss the ledge trap, they're still in the game. So being able to drop off and consistently be not afraid of getting that counter timing because you know when he's going to stall. That's Three, so important two, with anybody who has the ability to do something like that. Yeah. And then even when you saw the high percent 167, Lucina does have a... I wouldn't even call it like kill throw because it's too high a percent and it revolves around you having some rage. But yeah, you saw that stretch went for forward throw because he knows 
knows. I could go for up throw, but it's not necessarily going to be true. Forward throw to set off the off stage plays, and that's ultimately how Stretch got that game here. Stretch is now 2 1 here. PK Curse's turn to see if he can put a point on the board, or is it going to be a 3 1 for Stretch? And honestly, even though PK Chris has been suffering against Lucina, I wouldn't put it past him and put on a game five because he knows how to play this matchup a little bit better than some. Absolutely. That's what I was referencing at the beginning. PK Chris is from the tri state area. He's used to dealing. I'm, I'm sure he's played Stretch time and time again online and possibly local. He's played Mr. E, I mean, the other great uh, Lucina player. Great job waiting, making it look like maybe he was going to go for a forward smash, trying to mess up his DI so we had to hold in and go for an up smash to kill him off the top. Doesn't get it. But yeah, PK Chris's approach to this matchup, which is, like I said, easily one of, if not the worst matchup that Ness has to deal with, he makes it look so doable. Yeah, and that's the thing about being a character specialist, man. You gotta learn how to take all the W's with the character, but you have to learn how to hold all the L's, because they will mm -hmm. teach you. Facts, if you're complaining about a really bad matchup, you can't just, like, just look, <laughs> I know this is a terrible reference for people, but look at Meister and how he deals with Ike. Ike eats Game & Watch, and Meister makes that work just because he's been able to dissect it. And PK Chris is doing a very similar thing here. Even though Stretch has the game lead, he still very impressively keeps it super close. Oh, that was a good up B from Stretch, just a little bit too close. I'm sorry, too far. Just because of the way that Ness's dash tag is just so disjointed. Up B would have been a great call either way. True enough. And now you see right here, he's got a stock up and he's got positional advantage. So just put that pressure out there. And he's not falling for that a second time. I mean, oh, I, yeah. I still like the idea of going for it again because you just kind of bury it in his head. You're not going to air dodge. That way, the next time he goes for just near one, he might just straight up go for the forward smash in that situation. Oh. Let him fall. Don't go touch him. Yeah, <laughs> don't. <laughs> you know, man, it's like watching a kid fall. You don't want to let him know that he's falling. Just let him fall by himself. Yeah, honestly, it's just one of those, it's one of those things where, like, sometimes people get a little bit too aggressive off stage and just want to go, just want to go swing. It, you know what, it, watching matchups like this always make me remember, I, I love one thing about this game, and I know it's kind of annoying for many, we have 80 plus characters, and almost every one of them has some form of way to succeed. There are some yeah, very bad true. matchups, but they make it work regardless. However, when you have people fall out of your up air like that because of what looks like some good SDI, that can be very annoying. Oh, definitely. I mean, you can tell Stretch is looking to make sure PK Chris is going to fall again here. What a what a cross up there on the dancing boy. Just trying to get something against PK Chris here. 121 to 107. This is the stock that matters the most, man, because you can push that lead a little bit further. And if you're Stretch, you want this lead as much as possible. Trying to set up for the down air. The second attempt, not going to hit the mark. I like that awareness, though. He sees that and smash attack out there in play. You want to avoid that yo-yo and you want to watch out for the roll. Good job from PK Chris as well to, after being pressured like that, still decided to put himself at the ledge to continue pressure. Because a lot of times people will get hit and then they run to center stage because they're trying to run away from possibly dying. But you need to put it in the head of the opponent. I don't care if I'm a KO percent. Oh. I'm still going to fight you. That was a great cross up. Yeah, beautiful, like beautiful, land beautiful. And beautiful. Dolphin Slash and led to that edge guard. Gordon Ramsay himself would have loved that cross up if he saw it on Hell's Kitchen, man. That was beautiful. Oh, there. Delicious. I'll be right into the PK Thunder, man. If I were PK Chris, I'd be upset. Those PK Thunders have been saving Stretch time and time again. That's the third time I've seen it happen here. Forward air Stretch off the stage. PK Thunder, is it going to be a save, though? Barely, because it only hits the tail end. Oh, I like that. He knew that the only option that he had was either A, air dodge down and in, or B, mash the up B. He yeah. Did Dolphin Slash is his, like, main get out of me, uh, get option tool. But if he did air dodge in, he still had him covered with back though. Forward tilt. Okay, no forward here. Trying to stop PK Chris a little bit. Down air. This marks. I do see Stretch trying to keep his feet on the ground. Seeing how PK Chris is going for a lot of aerials here. Trying to make a call out. Yeah, oh, nice. Opportunity. This is... That, that, I like the fact he got the grab and forced them into yeah, good yeah. stage, stage positioning. Because his shield was getting low, which would have set him up potentially to get shield broken. Now he's got to be careful. Stretch finding his way back in, getting it back to even, forcing him out the, st the side of the stage. This can Ooh. be bad. Oh, the, the close with the back air. Yeah, I was going to say, you can see that Stretch was holding for that back air. But PK Chris on the aggression. That's a back throw. Watch the DI. You and that will not be enough here. PK Chris forces game five. That is huge for Chris that he ended up landing uh, directly in front of him. He tried so hard to space him out as best as he could with that Nair. But what did uh, PK Chris do that we mentioned at the very beginning? Ran up and held shield at the right time. You yeah. have to be able to run up and shield on those short hop aerials because that's a punishable thing on Z uh, Lucina. They're either A, Dolphin Slash out of there, or B, take the punish. And now yeah. we're good because he was so close that he was able to get the grab. 
Exactly. That's the thing about Lucina's aerials. They are disjointed as they are, but they are committal. And a lot of care that's the thing, that's a lot of weakness that sword characters have. They do have the disjoints, but to supplement that in terms of balance, the disjoints have the end lag. So you can always punish that. If you look at a character like Ike, comes up very strong, very scary, forces you to hold shield, but always knows that there's some end lag on some of those moves. He either has to force himself to hit the shield properly or try to get away. And in this case, like you mm -hmm. said, Ajax, you either go for the Dolphin Slash out of there or you take the punish. And unfortunately for Stretch, the punish was the only thing he had to take. And that'll be pretty much the peak at Chris's W. 100%. Also, I I'm gonna talk about Pit after this matchup because I I, I need to reestablish what it means to be honest as a character. Cause Smash 4 <laughs> Pit, that was honest. That I was got honest. Some different I got some different words about how that character plays. Actually, just what an honest character is in this game. So we'll talk about that once we get done with this one. This is game number five. I like the fact that they've just been cruising it out on Battlefield. It's a good state for both. They have plenty of combo pressure. They've been able to just use the platforms to get away from situations. But this has been so easy. You hear that's the correct way because that's a much better punish to take. <laughs> yeah, I think at that point, yeah, you wanna you wanna take the better punish rather than the worst punish as possible. So Stretch knows what he has to make here. Reads the air dodge. That's something PK Chris gotta watch himself. I know he's trying to avoid the ledge because it's Lucina, but Stretch has been calling out that platform landing every time. He's not afraid. A beat of the back air. What a play, man! He is being wow. on the aggressive side. I love it. I love the fact that Stretch consistently takes advantage of the best win condition he has in this matchup. Get out there, challenge the recovery, and make it to a character who must commit on the recovery very hard before they actually do it. Get blown up by such fast disjoints. Yeah. No back air for Stretch. Watch the recovery here. Gets Avoids the PK fire, but what a call out from PK Chris, because he knows he forced out the, the central plane recovery. What's next for Stretch is going to be the jump recovery. What a call with the up air. Close enough with the dancing blade. Waits for it. I like that, because he's looking to see how PK Chris is going to have the end lag on the PK cross. Exactly. He's sitting there. He's playing patient. Both of them just keeping this game so close. This is exactly what you want to see in top eight here. But one, one of these two is going to be done for the night after this match. And it is extremely hard fought. Unfortunately, it doesn't get a nice follow up after that jab block, but still keeping the damage even. Both of them two stocks apiece. I like the fact that after PK Chris realizes that he doesn't have the full combo to pursue, he backs off and just goes for something like a zoning attempt to slow down Stretch's game. Yeah. Okay, Stretch looking for a call here. The footsies game. What a play to call the directional air dodge because you know there's some analog on that. Jump to avoid the special here. Stretch almost with the down air trying to get a two frame, but immediately PK Chris responds from that side stall. And what that's the thing about Ness too, you have to watch out for side stall because they can definitely avoid your aerials because of that. Exactly. And like it, he's been like they've been stalling very well throughout this game to the point where it's kind of annoying, right? You, yeah. you start <laughs> feeling like you got an established understanding of how your opponent behaves defensively and then they just change the timing up that much more and that yeah. just like you have to be a good player to adjust to that timing change as it goes good job with the nair it was a safe option he was already uh, on top of the stage so if he faded away enough he gets away from the dolphin slash but still both of them one mistake away dash deck not gonna do it just yet Ooh, watch out the PK fire. Okay, oh, no. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, don't panic, don't panic. But then Neutraler will call out that forward air from Stretch, and PK Chris has a little bit of control here. Down air, but what an understanding there from Stretch. I can easily punish that with my up out of shield. What a play, yeah. Oh, speaking Easy. of hard punishes, easily punishing that king with that counter again. One stock of peace. Both of them potentially one really cheesy stock away. Stretch hasn't gone for a shield breaker recently, so you know that's a potential option. PK Chris can go for PK Thunder 2 at any time if he does a bad air dodge. This game is so close right now. Okay, patience from Stretch here. Looking for a way. Yeah, I was gonna say he's looking for he's looking to punish an air dodge, as he should. You see him PK Chris come into these foreigners, but you know PK Chris is drifting back to avoid anything here. Center stage play, Stretch looking for an option out of the footsies, near out of shield. Stretch is looking for a, he's looking for an aerial, but it's PK Chris not giving him any opportunity. Yeah, you see, and for Stretch too, even though you're behind a percent, you have to think in your head, I have him had pretty close to KO percent. Even though yeah. I'm only a little bit behind, I can just snipe one of these jumps or catch him <laughs> at the right to the forward smash. Not anymore though, because that is PK Chris catching him being aggressive from the ledge. Our old classic from the Marcino players is jumping from ledge with forward air and he punishes it accordingly.